everyone welcome back to the place to pour kitchen i am chef conway and today i'm going to be making strawberry shortcake strawberry shortcake is one of the most rustic and simplest dessert to make and it's is packed with a lot of flavor now if you want to know how to make strawberry shortcake come along with me and let's make this together and then i'm going to add my butter it's cool. I chop it up in fine cubes so that it will incorporate better. Then we're gonna go in with some baking powder. Then we're gonna go in with some salt. Then we're gonna go in with some sugar. And what you wanna do is you just want to kinda use this pastry blender to pastry hand blender to really chop up your your butter into your flour kind of give it like a rough chop this can be used instead of your hands to fold the butter into the flour and this butter is very cold you want to have your butter very cold so that you don't lose all of your butter while working your dough. So as soon as the butter start to be incorporated into the flour, I'm gonna go in with my egg and then I'm gonna go in with some buttermilk. So here's the egg. And then the buttermilk. For this recipe, we have 280 grams or this two cups all-purpose flour, 30 grams or two tablespoon granulated sugar, 20 gram or one tablespoon plus one teaspoon baking powder, five gram or one wine. teaspoon salt, 90 gram or six tablespoon cold butter, 45 gram or one whole egg, 130 gram or half cup plus two tablespoon buttermilk. And this is a buttermilk that I made specifically for this recipe. It's a homemade buttermilk. If you want to know how to make this buttermilk, just comment down below and I will definitely do a video on that one. So here we have our, our dough. Just want to flour our table lightly. Just want to sprinkle some flour on it. And then we just want to roll this out. You really don't want to overwork your dough. You really want to like pat it. You see you have those large pieces of of butter that's what you want so you want it to be like a half inch thick pretty much like a quarter inch thick and then i'm going to use a two and a half centimeters two and a half inch round cutter to cut it out Just gonna arrange them on our baking tray. You don't want to use too much flour on it because too much flour will give you a a tough dough, and you don't want that. When you have a small these scraps, you can just form it, put it together, and 
roll it again. Kind of like press it together like. And roll it. So here you want to make your egg wash. So just want to go ahead and egg wash these. Spread this egg wash. And this egg wash I'm using one whole egg and two tablespoons of milk. Egg wash give it a nice color. And then you want to sprinkle some granulated sugar on top of it. Just give it a nice crunch, a golden look. As you see I have this, this small piece right here. It was the last piece that left over and I couldn't get a round one from it so I just cut it out and I'm gonna bake it anyhow. So after you egg wash your biscuits, sugar them, you can see how nice they're looking. It's time to yeah, pop them in the oven and you want to set your oven at 180 degrees Celsius or 350 Fahrenheit so that you have a crisp baking on them and you want to bake that for about 15 to 20 minutes until you have a rich golden brown color on it. So first biscuits are in the oven. You want to start preparing your macerated strawberries by chopping up your strawberries. You want to have half cup of strawberries all chopped and you want to add two tablespoons of granulated sugar and you want to toss that around and then you want to set that aside so that the, the, the strawberries, the liquid will be extracted from the strawberry and you can have a strawberry sauce. So as soon as your biscuits are done baking, you want to take them out of the oven. You see they are not so golden brown. The color is not too brown. You want to keep it light because underneath the biscuit is baked. And so if it's over bake, it's going to be dried and you don't want to over bake your biscuit too much. Bear in mind that when you take it out of the oven, it's still going to be baking. And so once it's, it's finished baking, you want to set them to cool on a cooling rack and you want to allow them to cool for about 15 to 20 minutes. If your room is a air conditioned room, it may take like 20 minutes. It may take like 10 minutes there about. And so you want to space them evenly so that it cools evenly as well. And after they are cool, it's time to assemble them. And so you want to ensure you cut them in half. And here goes your macerated strawberries that is all ready to go. And so you, you want to ensure that you put one biscuit down. Then you want to go on it with a little bit of the macerated strawberries make like a nice dollop on top of it and after you lay down your strawberries you want to go with another piece of biscuit on top of your strawberries and so this is what makes the strawberry shortcakes really nice the biscuit you the strawberry and then you have the cream to just to just top it off there's there's no strawberry shortcake without a nice chantilly cream. And so the chantilly cream is, is made with and so your every cream for, and For your icing. chantilly cream, you want to have one cup of every cream that is chilled and two tablespoons of icing sugar. And you want to whip that until it becomes stiff and, and be able to pipe. So after you put your last biscuit on top, you want to arrange more strawberries and then you want to pipe your cream and this is all the finishing that I wanted to bring about you can put your cream as much cream as you please just go ahead go for it non-stop and after you put your final cream you want to have you want to just arrange your strawberries around there to give it a nice finish and 
when you're arranging your strawberries as you see the the juice the natural juice from the sugar that is what is made from the macerated strawberries it's natural juice no water was added nothing this is just natural from the strawberry and the sugar that was mixed and tossed together and sit down for about an hour and after you arrange your strawberries around your shortcake you can just take another piece of strawberry and make like a strawberry fan as you see right here i'm cutting it all the way down not all the way down you want to leave a small um space there to hold the strawberry together and you just want to open it or we call it fanning the strawberry and here you go that's your strawberries shortcake all done all ready to go look at this beauty strawberry shortcake done by yours truly the pastry poet remember to like share and subscribe so that you'll be notified when more videos are out share this video with somebody that you know that will love to make this one i just want to go and do this one simply simply amazing you're gonna to want to try this one